Whenever we gather, there is an energy, there is a charge that enhances and extends the moment. This moment is like a doorway, maybe a magical doorway in which past and future come together in forming the present. This is a <clears throat> heartfelt, and a joyous moment in which we gather to honor the experience and the practice of the float. The goal of many practices of the self, of wellness, of wisdom, of contemplation, of wonder, of creativity, is to extend and enhance the moment, to open the door wider to extend and enhance the now. And as we find ourselves here and now, it is magical. But magic as a natural phenomenon, it does not arise out of nothing. Could this magic arise in the gathering itself, a force that takes form? It accompanies us in silence and in solitude. It walks with us in nature. It is nestled in the creative act. It often blossoms in the altered state of consciousness, and it most assuredly manifests in the float. There is a long tradition of thinkers, artists, creatives, walking, wandering, mindedly. In the float, we wander mindedly in repose, immersed in process, an awareness heightened internal state. The experience of the float has a relational function, relating intero to exteroception, consciousness to un or subconsciousness, self to other. In this way, it acts as a bridge experience. Movement, transitions, connections take place in bridge experiences. In essence, you are creating a rationality of relationality. In the float, we enter a fluid milieu. We slow down. When we slow, we open. We perceive anew. We desolidify, deliteralize, and deconstruct habits and thought forms limiting us from historical and cultural fixation. In this softened, silent, more fluid, more interconnected state, maybe we begin to sense and feel the tender elements of the world which operate by love. And that, in essence, seems to be the overwhelming principle of this gathering of this experience. And so, with love, thank you for being here. Mm -hmm.